Well, it's been a while. <laughs> Sorry that I haven't filmed in a bit. Uh, just been moving my dad into his new apartment and dealing with some stuff of my own. As you guys know, the postpartum depression hit pretty hard. <sighs> but oh well. I'm here. I'm doing it. Got a video for you guys. So today I'm actually going to be doing a mask for What's New Wednesday. And it is the Aaliyah Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. Yeah. So the process. Spread mask evenly on your face. Sit back and relax for 10 minutes. Remove clay mask with warm wet towel. Use moisturizing cream after mask application. So what I usually like to do for masks is I just like to wake up and not have anything on my face, haven't washed my face, and just do a mask and then wash my face after the mask. I don't know why, but for some reason I can't just moisturize after a mask. <sighs> There's something about it that I just feel like my skin still needs to be washed after a mask to make sure I've gotten all of it off so it doesn't irritate it or I get pimples or stuff like that. So that's what I'm gonna do. So my face is not washed. I'm going to put on this mask for you guys and talk through it, how it applies, what it's like, all of that jazz. So let's get into it, okay? So first off, this is what the packaging looks like. This is the packaging, so just a plastic bottle, cute pink look, and it's cruelty-free. It's got that little, the little bunny with the cruelty-free picture right there. Awesome. So, Aaliyah Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask Detoxify and Brighten. So, let's get some detox and brightening on, shall we? So, let's open it up. We've got this little protector thing on it. I'm gonna take that bad boy off. And this is what the mask is like. It's like this, of course, it's like pink clay. <laughs> yeah, pink clay. There you go. So first off, the smell of it. I'm not sure what that smell is. I'm gonna have to look at the box. So I think it is the witch hazel and aloe vera that I smell. It doesn't smell bad, but it's got kind of like a earthy with like a slight hint of a wannabe floral, if you know what I mean. Not like an overpowering floral scent, but more like earthy. Yeah, if you know what earthy smells like. So I'm gonna take my brush. Actually, first I'm gonna put my cover on my hair so that I don't get my hair dirty. Alrighty, now we're ready. So I've got my brush, gonna take some of the clay on my brush and then we're just gonna start working it on my face. Doesn't have to be thick, just has to cover and do the job. So upon application, it feels kind of like greasy, like as if like I'm putting butter or mayonnaise on my face. Like it's very like smooth or I don't know how to explain it. Like silky, maybe silky is a better word for that instead of buttery or greasy. But seems to go on very well, very smooth, which is nice. You don't really need a lot because it like, it thins out as you spread it and then just starts giving you even coverage. I'm sure you could cake it on if you want, but I don't really feel like I want to. I feel like I want to use this product more instead of just like a few times. <laughs> so I guess the more you cake on, the more product you use, right? So you keep it thin, you get to use it longer and you can brighten, to, and brighten and detoxify your skin for a longer time than just a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that. Give a nice thin layer. So 
So how have you guys been? Like, how's your Halloween? Did you guys do anything? What'd you dress up as? Anything exciting happening lately? I'd love to hear and talk to you guys about that in the comments down below. So just let me know what's been up, what you dressed up as, or anything new and exciting in your life happening. Nothing really too exciting or crazy happening in my life besides just trying to get in the swing of things and actually be a part of the community, be a, par be a person, like actually exist, which is very hard. But yeah. Like I got off of my anti-anxiety depression meds before I got pregnant because I was on such a heavy dose of Effexor that it would, that I just didn't feel it was right for me to be on for the baby, for Jack. At that point it was just baby, but I don't want to get back on it because I don't want to ruin my breast milk supply. So I'll just wait till I'm done breastfeeding and then possibly get back on it and feel a lot better with myself. But. We shall see, it's tough. But there is the one layer of this mask on my face. It says to wait 10 minutes and then remove it with a warm, wet towel. So I'm going to do just that. I'm gonna wait 10 minutes, let it dry and sit there. And then I will take it off. So this is what it looks like. Nothing too fancy, very sheer. Yeah, you can already see it starting to dry around the edges and turning white. My face is feeling like a bit tight, kind of like um, with any mud mask, it makes your face like not be able to move because it's all tight and scrunchy. But I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Alrighty, it has been 10 minutes and this is my face. So it has all dried, it feels very tight, like Mm, scrunch face. So it is very tight. Feels nice. As you guys can see, it's kind of shown my pores a lot on my nose and my cheeks right here. I'll come close so you can see. So I think that's like pulling the oils out. So if you guys can, when you saw up close, how you saw like the circles, the little dots of just my skin, I think that's the oils it's pulling out and detoxifying. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab a washcloth and I'm going to wipe down my face. Hold on one minute. So I have my washcloth, my damp washcloth with warm water, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start wiping this face mask off. So I like to just press it on my skin. You couldn't hear that. I like to just press it on my skin first so I'm not scrubbing at my skin too much, just to loosen it up a bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and gently rub it off. Now don't get discouraged by how red my face is. I have a red face when I put anything on it. And especially when I rub it down with a washcloth, it gets even more red. My face just hates me touching it, so. Don't think that I'm having a reaction to the mask or anything. At least I hope I'm not. <laughs> so it feels a bit like rough wiping it off like a little scratchy but not like a not like an exfoliating feeling just that it was dry and i'm just trying to now moisten it and get it off of my face so it's not terribly hard to wipe off I guess the trick is to just make sure that you dampen it enough first and then give it a nice soft wipe. 
because if you just go ahead and wipe it, you're just going to scratch your skin. And then you won't have happy skin. There we go. Look at that beauty. So all the mask is now off. Like I said, don't get discouraged by how red my face is. It's just like that when I touch it or I use any type of mask. It's like that. It just does. So I am now just going to go wash my face and give you my verdict. But it feels really smooth, like clean. Doesn't feel overly dry like some masks, like some mud masks do to your face when you feel it after and it's just like, give me moisture. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's nice and smooth actually. But I'm going to go wash my face and come back to you guys. Give me one second. Okay. If you guys can hear Jackson crying, he's just up from his nap. I have like 30, 30 minute to like two hour window of when I can actually film during his naps. So <laughs> looks like it's 30 minutes, but I'm just gonna finish this up for you guys quickly and then I'll go handle the young master. But my face has been washed, it's been moisturized. It feels nice and smooth and just feels like it can breathe. So it feels really nice from this mask. I'm really happy with it. I don't feel tight or dry or anything like that. But remember, as I said, my face is always red when I touch it or wash it. It's the, my cheeks, it's the mild rosacea. So put that aside. It doesn't make your face red or it might, depending on your skin, who knows? Every product's different for different types of skin. But for me, I know that I didn't have a reaction. This is just how my face looks after I rub it and use products. So I'm actually really happy, really happy with it. My face is nice and smooth. It feels good. It looks good. It brightened it because my face is super red. Just, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, I'm actually really happy with this. Do you guys see any difference besides me being super red? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys see any difference. Hmm, who knows? Also, I did my nails the other day. Yeah, I decided that I was tired of my plain gross nails and decided to paint them. I'll show you guys up close what they look like. Yeah. If you guys wanna see a tutorial on these nails, let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy to do one for you guys. These are my favorite nails to do. But yeah, I feel glamorous with them now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, this Aaliyah Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe to my channel to watch more of moi, as well as turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, I am going to go and deal with Tiny Screaming Master because he's going to get very upset in a minute. But. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay beautiful, okay? Bye.